And now to meet our next contestant, will you enter and sign in, please? Cecilia Benner. Right, ma'am? Is it uh, Miss or Mrs. Benner? Miss. Mrs. Benner, where are yes. you from? Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. Yes. Nice to have you with us. Mrs. Benner, may I present the panel? And now would you join me over here? We'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. All right, panel, we will tell you that Mrs. Benner is self-employed and deals in a product, and we will begin things with uh, Bennett Surf. Steve, what song would you have in mind for Cecilia Benner? All together now. Sometimes I wonder why I spend a lot of time. <laughs> no, it does your mother know you're out? Does your mother know you're out? Mrs. Bennett, <laughs> the product that you deal with is one that can be used by both sexes? Yes. And devoted entirely to human beings, not, not animals? Yes. Is it a product that could be held in the hand? Yes. Is it a product that would be found in the home? Yes. In a particular part of the home, usually? Yes. If it were a two-story house, would it be on the first floor? Bennett, this is difficult. Let me say this. It's a, a line of questioning which might well be abandoned because what we've admitted here is that there is no, no reason to, do, to say to you that... Uh, it couldn't be on uh, either floor. You, it couldn't be on one floor or another. But we will admit that in, in non-use, it more likely than not would be put one place rather than another. Mrs. Bennett, does this product come into physical contact with the person who is using it? Yes, it does. Would you just... Could you describe it as something that is worn, then? Yes. And it's worn by both sexes? Oh, yes. Is it worn above the waist? Yes. Is it worn above the neck? Yes. Is it worn below the hairline? Yes. Then it's something that's worn on the face. Brilliant deduction. <laughs> of course, now, you must realize that we're answering your questions in terms of what we would call the usual haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Bannon, does this product then have something to do with either the, mo the mouth, nose, eyes, or ears? Yes. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> How about been trying that for 17 years. Never hasn't got made it yet. How about ears? Yes. Because John said something about the kind of haircut. Then My it is fault. something that is worn around or in the ears. Is that right? Yes. Is it around the ears rather than inside the ear? No. <laughs> One down and nine to go. As a matter of fact, four or five down since I made a mistake. Go ahead. I shouldn't talk so much about haircuts. Susie, your neck. It goes inside your ears, then. One's ears. Inside? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, earplugs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Very good. I need the exercise. Can we get the rest of them over? That's very good. Better congratulations and Susie congratulations for swimming and sleeping. Actually, I think that one of the things that uh, will interest you is that uh, Mrs. Benner is a cellist. Her good husband was a bass player, right? Is a bass player. He's a bass player and uh, invented this. I don't, I don't know enough about earplugs to be expert about. They invented a kind of earplug and uh, they manufacture them. So his wife and, wouldn't and, have to listen. And to make them. them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Bennett, what are you trying to do? Mess things up. But uh, this will be more. Gil Fates, who is, is our producer, needs uh, earplugs. And he couldn't get any of this particular kind, which had proved to be so, so um, uh, efficient. So he wrote to find out uh, if they could send him some. And this is how we met Mrs. Benner and her husband and how we persuaded her to come and be our guest. That's right. McKeon Products earplugs. Company, right? Max earplugs. Max earplugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take mine out now. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. Nice thank to you have you with us.
Yes, Steve? John, it tell Gil Fates that if he can't get the right brand next time, if a button falls off his tux, <laughs> just stick it right up in there. And it'll be Save the button. We'll get better to sew it on for you. <laughs> the show's over. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this message.